In this video, I'll be installing CyberPanel on Contabo VPS. Afterward, I'll install WordPress and make a website using Candace theme. Make sure to use the link in the description to avoid any setup fees. Now choose a plan. This one goes for $5 with four virtual core CPUs, 60B RAM, 100GB NFV, or 400GB SSD, one snapshot, and 32 to drop by of traffic. So I'll be selecting this plan. Okay, it's a $5 plan. If you go for 12 months, you save another $5. So I'll be paying monthly. And these are the features. I mean, yeah, this is what you get. So now I need to select a region. One thing you should know is that for each region, there'll be an additional fee for whatever region you choose. In my case, I'll be choosing the European Union and then I will end up using Cloudflare CDN to save money. So I'm choosing the European Union. I'll be paying $5, no setup fee. Okay, choose okay, the storage type here. I'll go for the NMV 100 GB instead of the SSD storage. Then you need to choose an image. Also, you can choose an operating system, which is the same operating system. We also have hubs. Some are paid, some are free. Okay, for those who are interested in um, blockchain, we have also hubs for blockchain. So in my case, I'll be choosing Ubuntu 20.04. And then you need to create a password. Remember, you'll be logging in as root. So this is the password I choose. We have a password generator there. Make sure to save this password on Notepad or on a Word document. Save the password that you generate. Don't lose it. We'll be using it later. Okay, we are done. What else do we need to do? So fill your information. And you can see we have different payment method, PayPal, Visa card, and so forth. So I filled in my information, my email. And then I'll click next. Now I'll make the payment. I'll use PayPal. You can also use Visa card or credit card. So I'll use PayPal. Okay. I've connected my PayPal account. And so this is the invoice. So this is what I'll be paying for $5.5. And now I will make an order and pay. So give it a second. Okay, it's done. Your payment and order has been received and is currently being provisioned. So if I go to my email and see I've made the payment, $5 to Contabo, and then you receive several email. The first one will have your details. So with this one you have, you can see your IP address. Here, that is the IP address. I want to connect that IP address to my DNS manager with my domain. I'm using Dynadot. So I'll select my domain name. Under actions, go to DNS. And then I'll put an A record there. And what else do I need to do? Okay, I also add um, subdomain for the panel that will be installing. We'll be installing different panels. And then I'll make sure it's an A record. And then I'll point it to this IP address. And then I'll save it and allow it to propagate. So I'm done. 
then okay so you can see your order is successfully now i can log in to log in i will need to go i will have an email address with my login details you can see that is my login details my email and the password that has been sent so it's performing a security check and it is done if you're interested in two factor authentication you can activate it so for the purpose of the video i'll skip that i'll go there under vpn connect you can see you still have your server ip address there it is and then a few things you can do here you can restart your server you can stop it you can reinstall it you can rescue your server you can get a snapshot and so forth if you forget your password for the server you can reset it here under manage go to password reset and reset it there so now go to party gen and download party for windows so i'm using a 64-bit system so i'll be choosing the second option and then once you have downloaded it extract it and then i'll show you what we need to do so i've extracted mine so i'll be choosing this app called party and then i need to enter my happy address there let me go back okay so this is my happy address i'll copy my happy address i'll paste my happy address there and i'll call it uh, contable save and then i'll open it Okay, accept, just click accept. So I'll be logging as root. So type in root and click enter. So you need to enter your password. Just copy your password, right click it, and then you'll be taken, you can see, make sure you see your screen looks like mine. Okay, I'll leave this on the description below copy the script right click and uh, then press enter so in our case we are installing cyber panel okay enter number one to install cyber panel with Let's open light speed enter y to install the full service just type capital y and click enter do you want to set up uh, mysql and no capital n then enter press enter key again do you want memcache type capital y and enter ready cache capital y and enter and then yeah i told okay i have typed the wrong thing i need to type yes with capital y yes with capital y and then click enter and then allow it to run it will take around 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes depending on your network so we'll be coming back after 10 minutes now it's done this is important information so i will highlight every time you highlight something on party it will be automatically copied to your curly board. So I'll go to my notepad and paste it there. You can paste it on our document. Make sure to save it. Now I need to reboot the system. So to restart your system, just type Y, small Y, and click enter. And then ignore. 
that. So now we need to access our server after five minutes. Make sure you wait for five minutes to access your server. Okay, we have a warning. Click advance and continue to that port. Now, you remember the details we had copied. So we need to log into a server panel as admin and the password that I told you to save, not the one for the details we were given after installing server panel. So now we sign in to a server panel. And there we are. Hmm. Okay, what do we need to do here? A few things we need to do. The first thing I need to change this address to a custom one. So I'll go under websites and create a new website. So I'll choose the package default on admin. This one will be CP. Remember the subdomain we created CP Josh dot shop. I'm using a dot shop. Enter your details, then choose the PHP version. Afterward, create a website. It will automatically set an SSL certificate, install an SSL certificate for that website. However, I need to install an SSL certificate for the host, for the host name which will be used to change that we had URL. So I'll go under um, SSL certificates. I want host name SSL. So I'll select the website CP Josh WP Shop I'll install the certificate so that I can use a custom URL. So I can use now my custom URL and then I will add colon 8090 port 8090. Click enter. And as you can see now, my server panel is secured. Let me enter the details again, admin and then the password sign in a panel is secured with an ssl certificate i don't need to worry about that it looks better now so the next thing i need to do a few things i need to do i'll go under packages and then do okay modify the packages for the disk space i will increase this to ten thousand the bandwidth i want it to be unlimited so i'll put in zero what else do I need to change? Let me see. Okay. I think this is enough. I'll click modify package. And now we have a success message. The package has been modified. I'll go to PHP and then I'll edit the PHP config file. So here I'll select PHP. Mm, okay. I'll choose 8.1. Then I'll raise this twice that amount to 256. And then this maybe 200. 80 looks good. And then I'll save the changes. I have a success message. Okay, under security, I want to go to mode security config. Just click on that to install mod security config and then I will install mod security. I have a success message mod security has been installed. As you can see the status is home. What else I'll go under again websites now I want to 
create a website, a new website. Package is default, owner is admin, the domain name now is josh josh.shop, joshwp.shop, and then my email address, I'll choose the PHP 8.1, and then create the website. It will create the package for us and set up an SSL certificate automatically so we don't need to set SSL certificate or install an SSL certificate again. And then we have a success message. So if you go again under website, the list of websites, we'll see we have joshwp.shop there, click on manage. So as you can see, we have an SSL certificate that will be expiring in 90 days. I want to change the rewrite rules to force it to force HTTP to HTTPS and then save the rewrite rules. Afterward, I scroll down to applications and then I want to install WordPress with Lightspeed Cache. So I'll click that. And then now I need to enter information of my website. My website will be called Josh WP. The login name I want to be Josh WP. Password, I will select a strong password. Just choose that as the password. So that's the password I choose for my website. Let me save it somewhere. But I may not forget it. Save it in Notepad or on your Word document. Enter your email and save. So now it's, it's installing WordPress. Just give it probably a minute. And it has also installed Lightspeed Cache plugin and activated it. So we have this link. Let's see what our website looks like. And you can see we have a good website currently with the default WordPress theme. So to access your WordPress backend, just enter slash WP hyphen admin and then click enter. So now we need to enter the details with the password and then the username we selected. Okay. Let me disable these notifications. Go to appearances under themes. I want to install a theme. So we have three default themes. I'll delete all unnecessary theme. I'll delete this one. And then I'll delete another one. So I'll leave this one as a default theme. And then I'll go and, sell and choose a theme of my choice. Condense is my favorite, so I will install it. And afterwards, I'll activate it to make it the default WordPress theme. Okay, I want to use the starter templates. Just install that plugin. Okay, I'll use the classic starter templates. Okay, on this option, I want to filter by free only okay maybe I'll, I'll go for this one let's select this it's a beautiful website just select now uh, enter now click next and then finish and lodge start importing so currently as you can see we are importing all the content of that template let me open this one in a new tab and see how our website will look like and there we have a beautiful website. You just need to go and change the details to suit your need. So that's it. Make sure to use the link in the description below to sign up on Contabo. Thank you for watching.